Hello folks, Mark Doody here again and today we're going to do the Witcher Season 1 review so I thought I'd do the Season 1 before I do Season 2 now Season 1 of the Witcher okay let's talk about how the story progressed okay so it was all over the place the times it was just hard to follow you didn't realize that there was a big time lapse in the entire series until like episode was it like episode four i mean it was kind of really hard to follow to see what was going on with the story um in general though let's talk about cgi cgi i thought the cgi was great the fight scenes were brilliant you know especially you know episode one i thought was absolutely brilliant i thought i loved the first season except for the whole time lapse thing um the north guard soldiers look like shriveled raisins which i didn't really like the look of them um bearing in mind i've never read the books nor played the games so this is basically just off what i've watched from the tv show so please don't come at me with I oh, this ain't the original source material or anything like that because I just don't know you know what I mean and this is me being honest and this is me just watching the series itself you know what I mean so all in all generally it was an absolutely brilliant series I loved the little twists that were in it um, I liked how Yennefer went from like a hunchback into the woman that she is you know during the series um i mean production value of it i think it was really good and i really did enjoy it um there were a few things which i didn't quite get which i'm starting to you know at least during the series it explained everything with it now if you're a conspiracy theorist <laughs> this thing is full absolutely full of little nuggets so if you know what i mean by that you'll know if you don't you don't <laughs> but anyway moving on from that um obviously you know the little plot twists like the dragons and so on and so forth i thought were brilliant the story being told i thought was really good um you know it's worth a watch it really is worth a watch the only thing you've got to keep in mind is when you're watching the first season is trying it's, it's hard to follow because you're like what's going on here how is this happening there and that's happening there it's like it's really choppy that's all i can say about that it's really choppy but once once it clicks in and you're like all right so this is happening then and this is kind of happening around this time and you know i mean it's really hard to follow the dwarves i love the dwarves that were in it i thought they were they were really good they were funny um again the characters were great i quite i enjoyed the bard i thought he was brilliant you know what i mean so obviously for the second season i was hoping more of the first apart from the time jumping so i'm not going to get into season two that'll be for tomorrow but generally, it is a good season. You know what I mean? It is definitely worth a watch. And, you know, I had a few gripes with some things. But again, you know, the story as a whole is told uh, generally well. Let's put it that way. Generally well until you figure out that, you know, everything's all over the place. <laughs> Once you figure that one out because some things don't seem right. I'm sorry. It's hard to get a bit of decent sunlight because obviously we've had storms here for the last couple of days and Again, we predicted another day of bad storms, but the sun's coming out, which is a good sign but Anyway, you know, obviously in Indonesia, it's very hard to You won't be able to watch the witcher here Not at its full potential because obviously they'll cut it you know what I mean? So I had to go to Netflix UK to watch it at its full capacity. Um, but generally, it is really, really good. I mean, let's give it a rating now. I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. 
it could have made its way to five if it wasn't so choppy but fantastic I, I've thoroughly enjoyed the first season it made me want to play the games it made me want to invest more into the story that's you know that's being told through the Witcher um, it's a shame about season two but we'll get into that tomorrow but generally all in all you know it's definitely worth a watch um, I mean Henry Cavill as the Witcher, he did a brilliant job. I think he makes a perfect Witcher. He, he does the voice brilliantly because I have seen clips of the game. It's not as if I'm totally oblivious to what he should look like. So generally, he does look like the Witcher. He sounds like the Witcher. He acts like the Witcher. His, his acting is absolutely brilliant. Some of the acting in the series is really good. Um, Different from season two, let's put it that way. Season two, nah, we'll reveal that one tomorrow. But generally, I'd say, you know, season one is probably one of the better seasons to watch. Um, the monsters I thought were absolutely brilliant. I love how they use different things to kill different monsters and they explain, you know, what potion does what, what, you know, and fantastic I think Siri played really well as well I think her character was very good very well played Yennefer not so much simply because I found Yennefer's character kind of really selfish you know what I mean there was something about Yennefer's character that was kind of forced and pushed into everything but again you know it is what it is with that uh, Yennefer is not exactly one of my most favorite characters but Henry Cavill, you know, he played a brilliant role. I think Siri did brilliant. The Bard, I can't remember, uh, Yaskir, he was brilliant. You know what I mean? I absolutely loved his little tunes, especially at the end of every episode where he'd do a song and that. I thought that was a great little touch to add on to the end of that season. You know, at the end of each episode, I thought was brilliant, and I wish that had continued better. And I know a lot of people didn't actually like Yasuke's character, and they were quite happy when he was uh, removed from the season. Um, but all in all, generally, I think the set pieces are fantastic. They are, they do really great set pieces in this. You know. And it was really, really good. I really thoroughly enjoyed it. So anyway, that's my season one review. Nice and easy. I'm not going to get too much into it because this is one of the seasons where you really have to watch it for yourself. And, you know, you, you just get a feel of it. Just get a nice little, oh, that's, a, you know, I enjoy watching this. This is good. Or you watch it and you hated it. It doesn't matter. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion. My personal opinion is I enjoyed the first season. There were a few things where I thought, you know what, I'm not really liking that. I don't really enjoy that. What happened with this? You can see how they built up the cultural storyline with the elves, with the humans, the different, you know, the north, you know, and stuff like that. Um, you, they... They told the story quite enough so you can understand what was going on and following it. The only thing you couldn't really follow was the time jumping here, there and everywhere. It's kind of all over the shop and you just can't figure out what's going on until like the fourth episode where everything comes together and you kind of think, all right, okay, so they're doing this. All right, so what time was this? What time was that? You know what I mean? So it, it is a bit puzzling. So it is a bit of a mind one. You know what I mean? So you've just got to kick back and watch it. You've got to watch it from start to finish to grasp the entire story being told. Um, season two isn't like that, so don't worry with the time jumping, but there is a slight push at one stage. But anyway, is it worth watching? Yeah, go and see it. You know, go and watch the first season. See what you think of it. If you liked it, let me know in the comments below. Please like, share and subscribe if you like this video. You know where to find me. You know what the deal is. So folks, have yourself a nice blessed day. God bless. Ta-da.